Being a busy mom is a real thing. We do everything, and cooking is only a small portion. That's why a quick dump and go crock pot meal is essential. And when you're dealing with different taste buds, texture issues, or even have a baby that's transitioning into table food, life and meal time can get pretty stressful. Crock pot to the rescue. And I have three recipes to share with you today that take approximately five to 10 minutes to put together. We're also gonna get into picky eaters, kids with texture sensitivities, but more about that later. My name is Leilani, this is our channel, Living With Eve, and if you're interested in seeing what our channel has to offer you, go ahead and click on that channel trailer in the upper right hand corner and consider subscribing so you can journey with us because your child is exceptional too. But let's go ahead and get started. Our first recipe is a vegan taco filling. You're gonna need one can of diced tomatoes, a half onion, one can of black beans, three peppers that you cut up, one clove of garlic, one cup of frozen corn, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cumin, and a couple of carrots. For the toppings, you can use tomato, cilantro, lettuce, avocado, you can even add cheese, sour cream, olives, hot sauce, salsa, whatever meets your fancy. First thing I do is cut up and combine the onions, peppers, garlics, carrots, and I like to blend them in a Vitamix. Doing this not only makes the bits smaller, but it disguises them so your kids can't complain about the peppers they can see in the food. Cause this happens. You want to mix it to your liking. You know what your picky eaters can handle. Also, you may notice I cannot keep my daughter out of the kitchen, so I like to give her some simple tasks, like stirring. Now it's time to mix up all of those ingredients, first from the Vitamix, then the tomatoes, black beans, cumin, paprika, and one half of corn. Now I do choose to not use any liners because the heat can cause chemicals to leak into the food. Plus, a nice soak in soapy water can help easily remove any old food. Now, put the lid on, set the crock pot to low, and let it sit for five to six hours. Now here's the fun part. Lay out those toppings, give them an option between the chips and burritos, and let them serve themselves. You have just made your life a lot easier. Texture issues and sensitivity and sensory processing is an issue in our home. My daughter has Down syndrome. She is still learning how to transition from baby foods to table foods, and this is taking a longer time than usual, but she also has low tone and some sensory issues. If you don't know anything about sensory processing disorder, I will go ahead and put a link in the upper right hand corner. You can click on that now and it will give you lots of information on what that is. But to sum it up, the texture or even the taste can be overwhelming to some kids. The crock pot is great. Not only does it mix all those flavors up together, but it makes the food softer and easier to chew, which is what our kids with sensory processing need. Our next recipe is a vegan split pea soup. Okay, you probably noticed we are very vegan friendly. Meat and dairy are kept to a minimum and held for special occasions, and that's just kind of how we roll. You will need a bag of split peas, a couple of carrots, two large potatoes or two handfuls of smaller ones, half an onion, half a teaspoon of marjoram, half a teaspoon of pepper, and six cups of water. To start with, you may want to wash the split peas and pick out the stones or discolored peas. Cut your potatoes in quarters, cut your carrots, cut your onions. Next, mix it all up, give it a stir, turn it on low, and let it cook for 10 hours. I love this recipe because I can put it together when my kids are sitting down eating breakfast in the morning. It's cheap, it's easy to do, and it's filling, and of course I don't have to worry about dinner. For Naomi, this recipe is great. The texture is perfect. It helps her gain those extra pounds that she needs. And later on, if I save it, I can bring it out and add some other foods to it, like some applesauce to make it sweeter or some avocados to give her a little bit more fat. Now sometimes after dinner, I find that I have a lot of water left over at the bottom of the crock pot. So I like to add some potatoes, cook it some more, and then right before bedtime, I will take it out and freeze it and stick it in the fridge for later. Before we introduce you to our last recipe, I want to mention a few friends who are also sharing some of their dump and go crock pot recipes. A link to their channels will be down below in the description box along with the playlist, but here they are. It's Erica Lucas, Home Sweet Homeschool, Fields Full House, Our Blessed Life, Faith Through Arrows, and Pennies and Salt. For our last recipe, I had to include a breakfast meal, apple cinnamon oatmeal. 
For this recipe, you will need one tablespoon of cinnamon, two cups of oats, eight cups of water, a couple of apples cut up. For sweetener, you can use brown sugar, honey to add after you finish cooking, as well as some stevia. For my oatmeal, I have some rolled oats, but these aren't the flat rolled oats. These are the whole rolled oats before they've been processed. They are a lot thicker and take a little bit more time to make as well as need some more water. So what I did is I took two cups of oat and I quadrupled the amount of water. So I have two cups of oat and eight cups of water. If you're choosing to use steel cut oats or rolled oats, I would do like one cup of steel cut oats to three cups of water, or I would do one cup of rolled oats to three cups of water. You can use either one and it's fine. Just make sure that you turn the crock pot down to low instead of high when you're cooking it through the night. And voila, in the morning you have some beautiful oatmeal that the kids can just scoop and eat without you having to worry about making breakfast. Super awesome. I hope these recipes can help make your life a lot easier as a parent or even grandparents. Be sure to check out our other videos because they will help you and give you tips and encouragement as you raise your exceptional children. And also consider subscribing. Be sure to click on that notification bell so you can get notification whenever we upload a video to YouTube. That way you can journey with us because your child is exceptional too. And thank you for watching. Bye.